Irma Avalos was brought to Buenos Aires from the northern province of Chaco when she was a child. She's a member of the Com indigenous community. Her family was escaping poverty. She says discrimination has been part of her life. For my children, it's difficult to accept that they call us Indians or they leave us aside. We are not animals. They cannot come and tell us what to do. They cannot kill us when they want. Last month, in Argentina, some survivors and descendants of the Com and Mokoid people took part in an unprecedented trial of a case that goes back nearly a century ago. In 1924, hundreds of members of the ethnic groups were killed by ranchers and security forces for protesting for better working conditions in cotton fields in Napalpi, in the province of Chaco. On Thursday, a judge acknowledged the complicity of the Argentine state in the killings and ordered a series of measures to assist the communities today. The trial for the massacre in Napalpi shows the serious abuses that indigenous communities suffered in this country. Only one million of the 45 million people in Argentina consider themselves descendants of the original indigenous groups. Most of them live in poverty and continue to fight for survival. Pascual Durán lives not far away from Napalpi in Chaco. He's also a member of the common indigenous community. He says his people have to struggle for food and work and remembers when the police beat him and accused him of stealing beef two years ago. His granddaughter, Juliana, was there. They accused me of having beef in my house, but I had nothing. It was a lie. The police make mistakes and blame us, but those who do things are never detained. Testimonies of police abuse are frequent among indigenous communities. This video went viral during the pandemic, when security forces entered a neighborhood in the province of Chaco and beat the men and women inside the house. Diego Vigay is a prosecutor in the province. He says the trial of Napalpi is important to fight the discrimination that continues to exist today. Institutional violence against indigenous groups is very common. There is racism among security forces and not all the cases are investigated and there's impunity. One of the objectives the trial has to do with is putting an end to racism in the state and among security forces. Argentina has long prided itself of a European heritage, one that often neglected and persecuted indigenous groups. The trial of Napalpi is a step to revise history and give indigenous communities the place they have been denied for too long. Teresa Bo, Al Jazeera, Buenos Aires.